Hello everybody. Welcome to my web-based training about the Mac application called Preview. My name is Julian and during the next 10 minutes I want to show you some helpful features of this amazing application. For those who don't know it, Preview is the standard application for reading PDF documents and for looking at images on a Mac. I have divided my web-based training into two parts. At first I want to talk about features regarding PDF documents. In the second part I will talk about features concerning with pictures. Now let's start. I want to start with amazing features regarding PDF documents. Open a PDF document, now you can see the graphical user interface of Preview. On the top you can see the general toolbar. On the left side you can change for example the view settings, you have buttons for scaling the document up and down and a button for sharing options. On the right side of the toolbar there is a search bar and three other buttons. To show up the edit toolbar click on this button. The first feature I want to show you is how to work with text in preview. At first I want to show you some markup possibilities. For this reason click on this button. It is possible to highlight text in different colors. You can also underline something. For example we want to highlight this text in um, yellow, this part in for example green and we want to also underline this text area. Sometimes it is very helpful to add a note to a highlighted area. To add a note, make a right click on the highlighted area. Select Add Note and now you can type in your text. This is a note. Now you can see the note symbol above the highlighted area. To see the note you can click on the symbol. Especially if you are working with huge documents, it is meaningful to have a summary of all highlights and notes. In Preview is this no problem. Click on the View options and select Highlights and Notes. Now you can see a summary of all your highlights and notes on the left side of the screen. Let's change the view back to Content Only. The next feature which I want to show you is how to fill out forms with Preview very quickly. The cool thing is that Preview is able to detect areas for comments and also check boxes. Let me show it to you. Click on an area where you want to add text. You see the cursor appears on the right place. Now you can key in what you want. For example the first name Julian. Then you can jump to the next fields with the help of the tabulator key on your keyboard. To the middle name field, my middle name is for example Thomas. So um, let's also add um, a town, this is Hayward, and my date of birth, um, 12, 18, 7. Now you have seen how easy it is to fill out a form with the help of Preview. The most impressive and helpful feature is the possibility to insert a signature. Imagine you want to fill out a form, for example this request for a US tax number, and you want to send the form via mail. The problem is that you have to signature it. The normal approach would be to print the form out, signature it and then scan it in. This sounds very laborious and it is. With Preview you can save your signature one time and then you can use it all the time. I will show you how it works. Click on the signature button in the edit toolbar. Then select create signature from FaceTime HD camera. Now this window will appear. Here you can also read how it works. Um, sign your name in black ink on a small piece of paper. 
I have prepared this um, for our test. Hold the paper up to your Mac's camera so your signature rests on the blue line. Now you can see um, how it works and you see it works perfectly. Now you can save your signature with a click on the accept button. Now you can see the signature button is already selected. To insert your signature, click on the wished position. Now you can also arrange and scale your signature. That's it. You see it is very easy to add a signature with the help of Mac Preview. The last feature I want to show regarding PDF documents is the possibility to look up terms quickly. So for this reason we have to hide this. So for example we want to know more about this identification number. So select the term, make a right click, click on look up and a new window will appear with information about the term. In this case, for example, a part of the Wikipedia article about this identification number. You can also initiate a Google search with one click in the same way. During the last minutes I have talked about great features of Brief Review regarding PDF documents. In the second part of my web-based training I want to talk about how to work with pictures in Brief Review. For this reason we have to close this PDF document. For this part of my web-based training I have prepared three different pictures. Now we want to optimize them a little bit. To open more than one picture in Brief View, you, you um, have to select the wanted pictures and make a double click of one of them. Now Brief View opens and you see the pictures are shown um, in the sidebar. On the third picture you can see a nice waterfall. Unfortunately the colors of the picture are not that bright. So um, let's adjust the color with the help of Mac Preview. For this reason open the Edit toolbar and click on this button. A new window appears which shows the color settings. With the help of the Auto Level button it is possible to optimize the colors automatically. So let's try it. You can see there are little changes in the settings, but I would like to have the picture a little bit brighter. So I can manipulate the exposure settings a little bit. Now you can see the picture is a lot of brighter than before. The next feature I want to show you is how to crop a picture. For this reason I have prepared this nice picture. Now we can select an area with the help of this button. For example, we want only this part of the picture. Um, during the selection process you can see the size of the selection in the right corner. This is very helpful if you need a specific um, size. After the selection you can click on the button Crop to selection to crop the picture. Now you can see the picture has new dimensions. If you want to send the picture via email like this picture number one, you have often the problem that the file size is too big. The easiest way to reduce the file size is to reduce the resolution of the picture. This is no problem with brief view. Click on the button adjust size and you will get a new setting window. Um, let's change the width and the height of the picture to 50%. It is also possible to key in absolute pixel numbers. After you have clicked on OK the picture has the size you have chosen. The last feature I want to demonstrate is how to share pictures with friends easily with the help of Preview. Imagine we want to share this picture with our friends. 
The sharing possibilities are hide right behind this button in the toolbar. You can see we have many different sharing options. You can email the picture to someone or you can send it via iMessage to your Apple friends. Also sharing via Facebook and Twitter is possible. I want to share this picture with my Twitter friends. The sharing window appears. Now I can key in my message. Look at this amazing picture. Hashtag Yosemite. Click on send and that's it. Really simple. Now I'm at the end of my web-based training. I hope you've learned something new and you like my video. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope we will see us again. Have a nice day.